In this video, I'm going to present some information that Sikh Dharma International or Sikh Dharma Brotherhood teaches. Um, they have their own separate code of conduct. It's called Victory and Virtue, Ceremonies and Code of Conduct of Sikh Dharma. Now, um, some people still don't believe that Sikhi and Sikh Dharma are separate religions, but um, it doesn't matter if you believe that or not. You can do your own research and find out that they are separate religions. Um, they have their own uh, tax status here. They have their own separate um, rules to follow. And uh, they themselves acknowledge that they're a separate religion. And so I wanted to feature some of their different rules that they are teaching. Unfortunately, they blend Sikhi with their own religion, so if you don't know the difference, it's hard to understand the difference. They actually do teach that Sikh Dharma is Sikhi, because they claim that it came from Guru Nanak, and that it's part of his uh, lineage of teachings. But, as you'll be able to tell from what they're teaching, it's very clearly not part of Sikhi and not part of Sikh teachings. Here they say, um, Sikh Dharma is sprouted from the seeds of the word spread by Guru Nanak. One important feature of Sikh Dharma International or Sikh Dharma Brotherhood is that they have a system, a hierarchy of ministers. So if you become a Sikh Dharma minister, you have to take these vows and these vows were created by Yogi Bhajan. So you probably know that um, there's no such thing as a hierarchy of ministers in Sikhi. So this is only a Sikh Dharma thing. Part of the Sikh Dharma minister's duties, as you can see on page six, is the practice of Kundalini Yoga. And here again, they're combining real Sikh philosophy with Sikh Dharma Brotherhood philosophy by saying you have to have regular participation in community and ashram seva such as free kitchen and then yoga classes which are of course kundalini yoga classes that's the only kind of yoga that they teach 3HO events, town meetings and so on so also if you didn't know Sikh Dharma International or Sikh Dharma Brotherhood and 3HO are the same organization. On the next page, it says suggestions to add to your goals as a minister, teach Kundalini Yoga. Some other things that they teach that are different are the reasons for wearing the five Ks. Here they talk about a Sikh wears a kara or an iron bangle on the right wrist for males and on the left wrist for females. In Sikh you basically wear that on your dominant hand. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Also about the karas, other than the male and the female wearing them on different wrists, which isn't true, they talk about kachara and I'll just read this paragraph. Um, the false part says that calcium is controlled by the thigh bone through its sensitivity to temperature. The kachara keeps a warm mantle of air surrounding the thigh and protects it against sudden temperature changes. The kachara maintains the polarity of the second chakra in relation to ida and pingala, the left and right polarities of the human energy system obviously is not why people wear kachara and it has nothing to do with Sikhi. And then on the next page he says the following are the daily banis given by Guru Gobind Singh and their relationship with the five tattvas or elements. And he's naming ether, air, fire, water, and earth. Um, again, those are not really related in that way in Sikhi. In the last part of the book there are some copies of documents in this document, uh, Yogi Bhajan proclaims, I'll just read this, Therefore, I hereby proclaim that henceforth, that offering given by the Guru at the 
conclusion of each Gurdwara service and included in the Ardas shall be known as Guru Prashad and shall not be referred to as Kara Prashad at any time. This proclamation is hereby adopted under the authority granted to me as the Siri Singh Sahib of Sikh Dharma. Again, Sikh Dharma is the separate religion from Sikhi. I set my hand and seal on the February 22nd, blah, blah. So he's saying he has some authority to change this vocabulary, which he obviously didn't. It doesn't even make sense. So we have what's called Ardas, translation by Guru Karan Kar Khalsa. In this translation, she says, let us look to the Adi Shakti, the primal power, and then one of the most important things, and we can know that Yogi Bhajan was not included in, in Ardas. They do include his name in their Sikh Dharma Ardas. And it says, please give thy blessings to Siri Singh Sahib Ji so that he may always live in thy infinity. Uh, so in their Ardas, they include blessings to Yogi Bhajan, which is gross and ridiculous. There are many other uh, rules in this book. Um, a lot of them are true Sikhi and a lot of them are complete made up rubbish by Yogi Bhajan and they artfully combine the two, again, to confuse people that don't know any better. If you want to know more about Sikh Dharma International, Sikh Dharma Brotherhood 3HO as the separate religion, definitely just do a Google search because all of the information is out there. Um, nothing is secret. I'm not saying anything new. Um, please do your own research if you're interested. And thank you for watching this video.